guys and welcome back. Um, it's early in the morning, it's about what, 10 to 4. I uh, woke up early, I couldn't sleep. Uh, well, I did sleep because I went to bed early a little bit. Uh, but I thought, oh, you know what, I'm hungry, I want to get up and I'm going to make um, something different again. So I thought, oh, I'll go a traditional Turkish breakfast, another one. And this one's actually called Meleman, which is like called Meleman. So it's like uh, eggs in like um, tomato, capsicum and onion. So what I've done is I've got the stove heating up. I'm talking to be quiet because, you know, people are sleeping. All right. So I'm just going to use olive oil like usual. So I've got olive oil in there. So what I've done is I've chopped up a uh, one medium sized onion and a half a big uh, red capsicum or bell pepper, whatever you want to call it. I've also chopped up um, two uh, trussed tomatoes. So I've diced them up, we're gonna chuck them in as well and fry that through and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, a bit of paprika, salt. And um, I've got three eggs there, which I'll show you. I've got three eggs. And look, they've got smiley faces. They're happy. Yay! All right. There's our paprika. Who eats paprika again? From Woolworths. And our sacks of salt, guys. All right, the pan's heating up. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our bread and we're going to dip it in the uh, eggs. Well, now you can do two types. You can do you can mix the egg through, or you can do one with the sunny side up. I'm going to go sunny side up because I want to dip my bread in there. All right, so that's pretty much warmed up. So we'll chuck the onion and capsicum in there. Yeah, thank you everyone again for watching guys and uh, subscribing and following and stuff like that um, yeah it's been great I didn't do any other videos today uh, I just didn't I wasn't in the mood I just thought you know I need a break so I had a bit of a break um, I did have a few ideas in mind but I thought you know what I'll give it a miss today so we'll cook that through And also today, this afternoon, once I get a little bit of a rest, um, I'm thinking of doing Turkish köfte. So I might do Turkish köfte uh, between a roll, a long roll. So I'll go up the road, I'll get some fresh rolls later on during the day. And um, I'll chop up some vegetables like, you know, onion and, and parsley and tomato with some sumac and all that stuff. And um, I'll do a bit of a cook-up and I'll make the köfte in front of you, the rissoles, so you can see how it is. And um, we'll cook up and uh, we'll have a little taste test. Yeah, you've got to have onions in this dish, guys. I know some people don't like onion, but you got to have onion in it. Onions the whole, it's what it's all about, it's the flavour, alright? And you can actually add butter to it as well. Once it's finished, add butter on top. Dip your bread in. All right, I'm going to add my tomatoes now. Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet as possible because it's 4 in the morning. Alright, now I'm going to add a bit of salt. And I've also got my pasta on top as a garnish and you can eat that as well. So 
So what I might do is I'm just going to put the lid on there and speed up the process a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I've got some rolls there, guys. We've got nice, beautiful, uh, fresh bread rolls from our local um, bakery up the road. So we use them. I love that bakery. Oh my god, you know what else I had today, guys? It was unbelievable because I had to take my son to the doctors today, right? And um, while I was up there, I had a few things to do as well. So at this bakery, oh my god, you know what I found? I found a cream bun, a fruit cream bun. And you know what? I'm lactose intolerant, like cream affects me really bad. I didn't care at this stage, it just reminded me of my childhood. And it was the only one there, so I had to grab it. Anyway, I enjoyed it tonight. It was really, really beautiful. So I might go back to that bakery today too. And um, this time I'm thinking of maybe getting a finger bun. A lot of you guys probably know what a finger bun is. You used to sell it at the school canteen back in the day when you went to school. They're absolutely amazing, guys. And you can't find them everywhere. Look, you know, some bakeries make them some don't. So anyway, let's take the little. That's cooking through now. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that. Just to break the veggies down a little bit. I'm also going to get my paprika. And I'll get my spoon. And I'll just sprinkle half a tablespoon. Actually, a little bit more, just for colour. I'm just going to let that, leave that lid off a little bit because I want it to absorb that liquid out. But I'm still going to use the lid, I'm going to put the lid on once I crack the eggs. So the, um, the top of the eggs cook as well. I don't have to, but what I might do is I might mix a bit of the white through so you don't have that like um, snotty egg stretching out of it. I'm just gonna add some black pepper, guys. Just good black peppercorns. What do you reckon? Should I go chili flakes? I don't know, it's early in the morning, should I do it? All right, you know what? I'm gonna add a bit of chili flakes on top. Again, I'm using the McCormick um, chili flakes, guys. These are from India. They're super, super hot. And they're really tasty. And they're ACO certified organic. And they've got a long living life shelf, um, shelf life, sorry, uh, 2000 September. So, we'll get that in. Anyway, that's comes that's come to the consistency I want. Alright, so I'm gonna crack the eggs in here. I'm gonna go three eggs, alright? You can go four. This is enough for two people, but I am two people, so that's gonna be just enough for me. Alright, so we'll crack the eggs in. Don't get any shells in there. Three. Alright, so don't worry if it's too, too runny. You already put too much water, which in this case mine's not. But um, that egg white, once you mix it through a little bit, that's going to help the thickening up process. 
I'm going to fill it in. Let's mix it up a little bit. And you'll see what I mean once I'm done. And if you burst egg, it doesn't matter because you're going to eat it anyway. Right, so I'm just going to add a little bit more salt on top of the eggs. I'll just give you guys a quick look. That's what it looks like so far. Look at that, how delicious that looks. I get so excited when I'm hungry. I'll just give that a little bit more of a mix. I'm going to add some chili flakes on top. I'm not going to mix that anymore. I'm going to put Alright, that's what it looks like with the chili flakes and everything on top. I'm going to put the lid on and give it a couple of minutes. And that's going to be pretty much ready, guys. All right, I'm excited. Let me get a little plate. Let me know. Actually, I've got a little bowl. Just going to spin that around a touch. So it cooks that side. Wipe down a little bit. I can't wait to do the Turkish köfte this afternoon. Oh my god, it's going to be so nice between the fresh bread roll with all that beautiful salad. I'm not going to do rice or anything like that today. I'm just going to show you something a bit more easy, a bit more simple, a little bit quick, and um, you're going to absolutely love it, guys. Trust me. All right, so that's ready. Turn that little uh, thing off, the heat off, sorry. I what I was going to say. Alright, what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of a plate up. Actually, I'll try and scoop it out like this. That looks so good. I just my shovel, I've got to dig it out. Juices. Wow. Alright, so that's ready for us. I'll just, just decorate a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Turkish minimum. Beautiful. Breakfast egg dish with your capsicum, onion, uh, tomatoes, paprika, salt, olive oil. And look at that. Look at that beautiful egg yolk. You can dip your bread in that. All right, let's have a bit of a sample. So I've got myself a little bowl. Got 
the egg. Alright, so there's mine. You can see the chili flakes on top of the egg. So what I'll do is I'll just break up some bread. Alright, there you go guys. So we get the bread, dip it in the egg. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. You can use a spoon or a fork. I'm gonna use a spoon. Mmm. Well, I haven't done this in a while, but you know what? I've got the taste and the texture perfect. Wow. There we go, look at that. Beautiful egg, vegetables, chili. Mmm. We'll cut a little bit of egg. There we go, look at that. Beautiful. Mm. Sorry guys, this is so nice. I gotta have one more. It's one of my favourite dishes actually. But I haven't done it in years. Don't know why. Right. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that's absolutely amazing, guys. There you go, something easy to do at home. You can prepare this, all right? It takes about 10, 15 minutes, and it's ready to go. All right, guys, I'll catch you later this afternoon. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for further notifications. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Walker Dad's Cooking and Food Reviews, and to uh, like on um, TikTok at Timmo1103. All right, guys, take care. I'll catch you this other. Okay, bye.